Hey everybody, I'm super excited. DJI just released their drone simulation software and we're gonna go play with it right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to download and install the DJI Flight Simulator on your computer. Bad news is you need a pretty strong computer to run this, and I'm not sure why. Um, the graphics aren't that great, but if you're like me and you live in Canada, you can't really fly in these temperatures anyways, so this was good to practice with and keep your skills up. Uh, I'll show you what else you need. You're gonna need your remote controller, and I'll go over the models that you can use with this uh, in a moment. And uh, let's get to it. All right, once you're at the DJI Flight Simulator page, you're gonna to wanna to go over to Downloads. Once you click on Download, you'll see right at the top here, we have Software, the DJI Flight Simulator uh, Program EXE. That's your executable file. You can download that just by clicking on that EXE. There's also documents and manuals, and you can get them in a PDF. But what is your system requirements? So over here in the FAQ, you're gonna see your system requirements here. And minimum, um, I'm gonna suggest, if you have the minimum, I mean, try it out. It's free software, why not? If you don't have even this minimum, uh, I wouldn't even attempt this, okay? My system now is uh, all the optimal specs and above. And uh, so I'm flying it uh, pretty smooth. There's no issues with the software whatsoever, okay? So as you can see here, your minimum setup. I'm not gonna go through this. You can read it uh, as you can see it. Um, you're gonna need hardware space, 80 gigs worth, okay? Um, your download, okay, your, your exe files only 70 megs so that's not a lot once you start that installation pro process it will download more uh, files from the internet and uh, will take up a lot of space on your hard drive okay so just be aware of that um, anyways once your uh, software is done uh, downloading Install it, follow the instructions on the screen. It's not hard, it's your standard installation, okay? But let's get into what's inside the program now, because that's what you want to see. All right, so once the uh, simulator is loaded up, you're gonna have a ton of options to go through. You can go through a uh, free flight, uh, you got some entertainment here, you got lots of settings, some credits, and you can exit out of it as well. Uh, really quick, I'll just go through the settings and uh, go to general settings. You can see here we've got language, image quality, resolution, screen settings, frames per second, sound effect, and uh, background music uh, levels. If we back out of that, we're going to look at the remote controller and keyboard. And here we can set up which remote we're going to be using. So you can use your uh, any remote that has the light bridge on it, your Mavic 2 remote, or your Mavic Air remote. You can also fly by keyboard, and you can uh, play around with the stick settings. So if you're not in mode 1, mode 2, or mode 3, you can switch over which one is comfortable for you. Uh, I think the majority default is mode 2, and uh, you can see if we switch that over there, all the controls actually change around. So at least they give you, give you that... Uh, they give you that option, okay? In your advanced settings here, you can go to exponent uh, settings here, and uh, you can kind of throw, change your throttle curves and rudders and stuff like that, so that uh, uh, the higher or the more you move the stick, the more it will move, or vice versa, whatever's comfortable for you. Uh, everything by default is at the, uh, uh, the settings that uh, your drone would come with. Okay. You can also change your uh, sensitivity, um, different uh, altitudes you can give it, uh, break, yaw movement, stuff like that, and your gains. So you can see you get pitch, roll, yaw, and vertical. Uh, 
all these are customizable to how you want to see it. Okay. So, what drones do you get to fly? You have the Mavic 2 Zoom. Is the first up. Then we have the Phantom 4 Pro. Followed by the Inspire 1 Pro. The DJI Spark. The Mavic Air. And last but not least, the Mavic Pro 1. And for entertainment, we can select any of the drones and we can do a, um, we select that. Then we have the uh, time trial mode. We have tunnel run. And it's uh, trying to, you know, hone your skills to um, put your drone exactly where you want it through these hoops. Uh, the time trial racing is actually kind of fun as well. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to go with a free flight. Okay, show you some of the options in there and, and how you're going to uh, improve your flying of your drone. So we'll go to free flight, and I'm going to select the Mavic Air, only because that is what I own and uh, I know exactly how it feels and flies. So um, all the drones will fly pretty pretty much like they do. Okay. So the first uh, free flight we have, we have an island, and you can see we've got different takeoff points. Okay. I'll be going to takeoff point two in a moment. But just to show you the other options, we've got a hangar, so you can fly around a DJI lab. And uh, then finally there's a city. So it's uh, a city here with uh, all different uh, obstacles and stuff to get around. This is great for trying to figure out uh, where your drone can fit and stuff like that, especially if you're going to fly in the, um, the view mode. Okay. So we're going to go to the island. I'm going to take off and take off point two. There's a few things here that I'd like to, to show you uh, how this drone and simulator actually works so much like real life. It's fantastic. All right, so when you start off here, you're going to be on your landing pad and you're going to be in the first person view. If you use your uh, selection tool on your controller, you can switch your views. So you can actually have a controller view where you can see all the stick inputs are mimicked on the screen. Okay. See how we can go a little crazy and everything is exactly what I'm doing with the sticks on my physical controller. Okay. We can go into a first person view where we have all our settings, we can take a uh, snapshot, screenshot, and we can start recording a video if we want as well, just like in real life. Okay. One of the things that uh, you might want to do, I'm going to just uh, turn off the uh, recording here. One of the things you want to do is you can use your mouse and you can go into all your settings as well. So this grid line here, we can get, uh, we can turn that off because that is kind of annoying. But if you're trying to get something in a certain shot at a certain ratio, the grid lines might help you out, okay? You can switch view back to like a follow view. This is great for learning how the uh, drone actually behaves in the air. The more you understand about your drone, uh, the better you're gonna fly it. And uh, then we have this, uh, technically it's called like a visual line of sight view, so. Once you're far away, you're only going to see some of the um, uh, uh, landscape around. Uh, you probably can't really see your drone if you're too far away, but it's uh, it's good to kind of see that as well. You can also have your man mode. So what you do is you hold down your selection button and your uh, little guy here, he puts his controller away and you can run him around the islands as well. So just kind of a... A uh, fun little thing that they've thrown in here so that you can you can do a battery change if you want or you can fly from well a different position if you want okay and he pulls the controller back out and we're ready to go so those of you that have flown a drone before is gonna, are going to know this, but in order to get the propellers st uh, started up, 
you're going to want to bring both sticks in and down like so okay and i'll just show you the propellers have started and we're going to just lift up or push straight up on the left control stick and that will give our vertical lift okay if we if we uh, put in a horizontal motion on this stick that's your yaw yaw means turn okay? anybody that's flown a drone is going to know this but if you haven't flown a drone yet and you want to get this free software once you buy a drone you know to, to try it out and and see these are uh, great little tools for you okay? then we have our control stick where we're going to move forward or reverse or side to side okay all right we're going to fly out to this little island first and what I'll do is I'll uh, put it in sport mode. Okay, you can see I've switched over to sport mode now, so it's a little quicker. And uh, I'll speed the video up because this will just take too long if you're gonna sit here and watch me playing a video game, so to speak. All right, so we have arrived at our first destination. You can see there's a heck of a lot of detail and a huge open worlds here to fly around in and just kind of practice and um, fly. You can see we got a weak controller signal over there. Now, I've been playing the simulator actually for a little bit now and I seem to be getting these at random, so I don't know if DJI is throwing that in as like an Easter egg because this is what really happens with the Mavic Air, or um, you know, it's just something that they they want you to be aware of. So throw it into the game because it will happen in real life. When it does happen, uh, and you're up in the air, you know, 300 feet or whatever, uh, you know, you can have a little mini heart attack there almost, but. Uh, uh, it's good to get used to because it does it does always come back and on a worst case scenario if you lost controller signal you can do the return to home right it will automatically return to home for you a little later on in this video we'll do a return to home and watch how that works okay so again I can't say enough good things about this uh, simulator, especially the fact that it's free. Um, because if you learn to fly your drone on the simulator, it's actually easier in real life. Okay, Because in real life, you actually have more of a perspective and uh, uh, you can tell like how high you are and stuff like that uh, from your visual line of sight. Okay, So in this game, yeah, I don't have visual line of sight here. Uh, really, it's uh, just way too small. But you can also fly according to your screens, okay? I think that this uh, tool, this simulator tool, will save you lots of money, okay? If you don't crash once because you learned on this simulator, it's worth the download, okay? It's not like you're paying money for it. Perfect. So I'll fly over here to this structure and I uh, will do uh, just a simple basic orbit uh, once we get there and I'll speed up the video again because it's a long boring flight over here. Okay, we got a weak signal again. And we'll just fly through. This is a great way again to test your skills. Oh, sport mode. Let's get it out of sport mode. So then you can see your clearances, stuff like that. Okay. And you don't have to be afraid to crash. If you by chance do crash, you don't lose a thousand dollar or two thousand dollar drone. You just reset. Okay. All right, so I'm here at the Angry Bunny. I don't know what the structure is supposed to be. I call it the Angry Bunny because that's kind of what it looks like. Um, and we'll just do a simple orbit around it, okay? 
and I'll show you kind of some of the inputs you can use and, and uh, how to do things like that. Anybody that's flown a drone and tried to do a nice orbit, uh, sometimes you know it can get a little hard to do. So this is a great way to practice it and not you know use up all your memory card and footage uh, until you perfect it. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of times you can get things down pretty easy here. So in order to do an orbit, we'll start moving sideways. Okay, we'll be moving to the right. And to start getting that turn effect, we'll start giving it a little bit of yaw. You can see on the stick here, the more you give it, the more you turn. Okay. Actually, let me get a little closer here because this is a little too far out, I think. All right, so again, we'll just start off with a full, full of the, the uh, input to the right. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of yaw here. Okay. And once you find that perfect angle, just keep going with it. Hold it as you can. Right. You don't want to keep putting in movements because then you'll get that, you'll ruin that uh, fluid, smooth motion that we're looking for. If you find you're having a hard time like this, where you kind of go straight a little bit, that's fine. Just experiment with it, and maybe you got to put a little less of your your uh, maybe you'll have to put a little less of your uh, controls in in order to get that smooth motion. Okay. Now, if we put it in sport mode, I find this a little easier actually. Okay. Let me just get all closer again. want to keep those control sticks as steady as possible to get that nice rotation. Okay. You're keeping it in the frame where you want it and it's just a nice smooth rotation. Now we'll do a return to home and see how that works. So I'll hold the return to home button. And as you can hear, my controller is beeping just like it would in real life. So you can see now that the drone is going up to its settings of how, what your return to home height is. It's going to clear the angry bunny here and head us back for home. One thing I want to show you is that no matter what the stick input you put into the controller, okay, uh, it will not deviate from its return to home. Okay. If you need to, for some reason, avoid an obstacle or something like that, you have to take it out of return to home in order to manually maneuver it. So I'll speed up the video here because this is a bit of a long run. Perfect landing. So for those of you that are new to flying and you're coming in for landing maybe somewhere where you can't see it, the best way to do that is to try to get yourself directly over your landing spot. Aim your gimbal straight down, and that way at least you can see exactly where you're going to come down. Okay. As you get closer to landing, make your adjustments. Okay. Nothing too, too much in that stick input. and just bring her down steady. Okay. So what else is this good for? It's for practicing maneuvers and not ruining your drone. This way, eventually you'll get to know exactly 
what you can and cannot do. Okay. okay. And that way you can practice and practice and practice and have some fun and not cause yourself any damage at all. And we'll go back to the main menu now. All right, so I hope that it uh, helps you understand what you need to do to install this uh, DJI drone simulator on your computer and the hardware you're gonna need to make it work. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And I uh, hope you hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the little bell off to the side there and uh, that'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Um, thanks for watching and as always, We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.